guys, today we're going to do top 12 easiest Castlevania bosses. I'm only doing the classic games and the Game Boy Advance games, which means the DS games and the 3D games will not be on this list. Secondly, I'm only doing one boss per game for the sake of balance. Lastly, all the footage you see throughout the video isn't mine and belongs to their respectful owners. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 12. The bosses of Belmont's Revenge are usually fun and challenging. However, the Iron Doll isn't one of them. For the first half of the fight, all he'll do is slowly swing his sword towards you. However, it's extremely easy to dodge. For the second half, he'll jump around the room and fire off an extremely easy to dodge projectile towards you. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 11. The bosses of Area of Sorrow are really fun and challenging. However, the Legion isn't one of them. The Legion drops four great men to follow you. However, it doesn't drop any more than four, which makes them really easy to avoid. And that's his only attack. For the remainder of the fight, he'll just slowly move around the room. After you destroy, it fires off lasers that are extremely easy to avoid. That and it takes forever. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 10. The bosses of Super Castlevania 4 are very easy and disappointing. But out of Super Castlevania 4's bosses, Sir Gorquil is one of the easiest. Sir Gorquil hits the ground to create two lines of fireballs that are very easy to dodge. He also throws an axe that's very easy to dodge. After you destroy his axe, he'll use a sword and try to swing at you. Unfortunately, it's very easy to dodge. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 9. The bosses of Castlevania Bloodlines are extremely easy and aren't challenging whatsoever. The creature is one of them. The creature will try to hit you for a spiral of blue balls that are really easy to avoid. He'll also try to hit you for a line of blue balls that are pathetically easy to dodge. Lastly, he'll hit the ground and electrocute it, but unfortunately it's very easy to dodge. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 8. The bosses of Circle of the Moon usually do a lot of damage and take for fucking ever to kill. However, Island Golem isn't one of them. The Iron Golem will hit the ground and make some gears fall to the ground that are extremely easy to dodge. And that's all he does. I'm being dead serious, that is literally all he does. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number 7. The bosses of Castlevania the Adventure are extremely easy and boring to fight. Out of all of them, the Undermole is the easiest. The Undermole will pop out of one of the holes and jump around. They are very easy to kill. In fact, you can kill them before they even leave one of the holes. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 6. The bosses of Cynthia the Night are usually fun and challenging. However, Milfist isn't one of them. Milfist will try to hit you with a stream of crows that are extremely easy to dodge. He'll also unleash a shitload of feathers from his wings to attack you. Unfortunately, it's very easy to dodge. If you don't feel like fighting him, you can just hit him every time he's about to touch the ground and prevent him from using any of his attacks. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 5. The bosses of Castlevania 3 are either very easy or frustrating. Vampire Bat falls on the easy side. All the Vampire Bat does is fly around. When you hit it, it splits into smaller bats. You'll think the smaller bats might try to attack you, but they do the same thing. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 4. The bosses of Castlevania 1 are either easy or extremely frustrating. Queen Medusa falls on the easy side. All she does is fly around and drop snakes. However, they're extremely easy to avoid as you can only drop one snake at a time. Anyways, I'll see y'all for number 3. The bosses of Harmony of Dissonance are either easy and disappointing or just an enlarged enemy. Max Slimer is all of the above. All Max Slimer does is move around and drop tiny slimes to attack you. They're very easy to dispose of. He can also attach himself to the ceiling, but he doesn't use that to his advantage. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 2. The <coughs> bosses of Castlevania 2 are so goddamn easy you can beat them with your eyes closed. Unfortunately, the easiness also applies to Death himself. All Death does is fire off a mini scythe that is extremely easy to avoid. He also moves very slowly, so if you don't feel like fighting him, you can just walk past him. Anyways, I'll see y'all at number 1. At number 1, we have Dracula himself. All Dracula does is teleport and fire off a swirly fireball that is really easy to dodge. If you don't want to see his attacks, you can kill him before he even moves. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Anyways, peace out.